temperatures are still pretty sweltering here in North Florida, but the good news, the radar is clear. Still hydrating. Three. Taylor. He finds an opening past the 40. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Jonathan Taylor, his... Th Throw complete to Chark. Space to maneuver at the 40. So they hit pay dirt, but don't count it yet. There's laundry on the field. We'll see what the gets started. Offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. It's on the ground, and the Colts pick it up. And he brings it back to right around. Progressions find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensive with nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. And no, it doesn't get there. Hits the crossbar, bounces back. Hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Back to throw. And, oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off down near the five. And a big turnover there. So this one winds up an Indianapolis victory. And it was a bit of a strange game. They were held scoreless through the entire second half. But their first half output, that's enough to carry them to victory. And that's an odd game to watch, isn't it? Because when we saw the output in the first half, you think to yourself, okay, they've got something working here. They know what they're doing. They'll continue that along. But instead, it's goose eggs in the second half. Fortunately, enough of a cushion and enough defense to carry them home. So for Indianapolis, it's back-to-back -back victories now after the week one defeat as they move to two and one. And they'll get another road date next week as their opponents will be the Tennessee Titans. Meanwhile, for Jacksonville, the early struggles continue as they'll sink to 0-3. And, and they'll try and turn things around next week as they have a date at MetLife Stadium with the New York 